Okay, let's take a change of pace and go back to the Bahamas. The island nation very much welcomes aviation visitors from the U.S., which is why they were so quick to jump on basic med, and they're always adding something to make the paradise even more attractive to aviators. That's very much the mission of the Grand Bahama Island Air Show, which marked its second year this past weekend. Our reporter Jim Moore was among the American pilots who showed up to perform, work behind the scenes, or just watch the action from a beach that is hard to beat. If you were on Grand Bahama Island Saturday, Tina Beach was the place to be. It was the second annual Grand Bahama Island Air Show, capping off a weekend of activities, including a kite festival and aviation career programs for kids. A perfectly sunny setting for crowd-pleasing skydiving and aerobatics. Still smaller than many air shows, it was significantly bigger than the 2016 edition, with an expanded lineup including John Black and his Super Decathlon. A combination of great food, music, and aerial entertainment brought the crowds. I think this is absolutely amazing. Uh, the crowd is definitely, I would think, broken maybe the thousand mark. The show began just a day after the Bahamas welcomed American pilots flying on basic med. We think that this is one thing that will definitely make it uh, easier for private pilots and aviators, so we're very pleased. We spotted familiar faces from the American Air Show circuit. That included the air bosses, John Walsh and Wayne Boggs. Tino Beach is right over the canal over there. People just hear the airplanes, they run the Tino Beach and go see it. The good thing about all of this is the word's going to spread. We'll have more people wanting to fly in this air show than uh, we've got money to spend. That's a good thing. On the beach and in the air, the program continued past twilight. You can count on another edition next year. Dates will be determined. We're going to have breakfast with the ministry this morning right after this interview and we're going to hit the ground running. I've already given them paperwork to start the process. Reporting from Grand Bahama Island, I'm Jim Moore, AOPA Live. Thanks, Jim. He reports that prior to his arrival, Bahamian youth who participated in the aviation career events got their first airplane rides in one of those aeroshell team T-6 Texans. We're guessing that made quite an impression. Our thanks to the Bahamian Ministry of Tourism for their hospitality, for which they are so well known.